Previously on Rock Bottom, the school assembly at which President Nick McPaddywhack planned to use mind control techniques to take over the population of Rock Bottom College resulted in death for him and his comrades in evil at the hands of the mysterious figure Sore Throat, now revealed to be Sergeant Petunia of Campus Police, who stepped in for purposes of her own. Tonight, Rock Bottom, Episode 8, The Big Bang. We turn our attention to the Rowan Institute for Truth, Justice, and the American Way, where Sergeant Petunia prepares to address the school. Hey, can I have everybody's attention? Thanks. President McPaddywhack can't be here tonight, so he asked me to take over for him. We're going to be showing a short film. We'll start in a few minutes, so hold your horses till then. Kitty, Sergeant Petunia's sore throat. So, maybe she's sick. No, sore throat, the guy who... The person who's been telling stuff everything. The one that story in the Zenith said had been talking to Professor Newton. But why, Bobby? Why would Sergeant Petunia be involved? I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's go get everybody else. Kitty, we broke into the projection room. Dumfries is dead. Did you get the movie? Well, it wasn't there. Neither was the projector. Doors. Uh, Chris, Terry, what'd you find? Shattered dreams, the glory, the burning flame of a life extinguished with one minuscule, monumental piece of metal. In other words, the doctor guy is dead, and there's no gas tank. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! What is it, Boopsy? I found President McCoywag and Professor Newton. They're dead! Sounds like a trend. Professor Newton's dead? Well, I didn't check his pulse or anything, but I did see what looked like his large intestine lying on the pavement. Oh, uh, what's Sergeant Petunia doing on the stage? Roswell, she's so throat. What? No way. Hey, does anybody else smell something? Could I have everybody's attention? Excuse me. Quiet. That's better. The movie's about to begin. Please play, pay close attention. Hold your breath and don't watch the... Hey. The movie's about rock bottom. Lois, don't look. Hey. Yeah. What a pretty school. It's not nearly as much of a dump as I thought. Oh, to rock bottom. Oh, trusted halls of learning. I feel such love. And happiness. Everything is so wonderful. That's right. You all feel loving and beautiful now, don't you? You'll always feel that way if you always obey. <laughs> She's your friend. The gas is draining your will. The movie is altering your mind. You can't resist. Love and peace for everyone who loves Sergeant Petunia. You love Sergeant Petunia more than anyone, more than anything, more than your friends, more than your own parents. I love Sergeant Petunia. I love Sergeant Petunia. I love Sergeant Petunia more than anyone. I love Sergeant Petunia. I love Sergeant Petunia more than anything. I love Sergeant Petunia. I love Sergeant Petunia more than my friends. I love Sergeant Petunia. I love Sergeant Petunia more than my own parents. My parents. My parents. Kitty, Kitty. your mother and I were hitting each other because we love each other. Remember, Kitty, sometimes when you love someone so much you can't stand it, you just have to cause that person some physical pain. Because we love each other. When you love someone. Hitting each other. Physical pain. Love. Pain. Love. Pain. I love Sergeant Petunia. Hey, get off the stage. You have to obey me. Get off the stage. I love you, Sergeant Petunia. Oh. Oh, stop it. Stop. Hey, give me back that pepper mace. I love you, Sergeant Petunia. Ugh. Oh, I can't move. Oh! Hey, what's going on? Well, oh my God, she was trying to hypnotize us. It looks like everyone here is starting to wake up. Where's Kitty? Kitty! I'm all right, Lance. I'm up here. What happened, Kitty? When Sergeant Petunia made us all love her, I... Well, I don't really want to get into that. Let's just say we should all be glad my parents taught me about tough love. Pepper Mace? You stopped her with pepper mace? The stuff really works. Rejoice, for a new day is here. The fair maiden has ended the threat of those who seek to enslave others. Excuse me, that police person is getting up. You, you ruined everything. Sorry, everything is perfect. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm Freddie Kent. You wanted for the Zenith? I thought maybe you could fill me in on what's going on. You want to know? All right, I'll tell you. I found out about McPaddywhack's plans one night on my rounds. I wanted to get in on his plans, but I didn't want him to know who I really was. So I invented sore throat. Doesn't that hurt? A little. <laughs> All right, a lot. 
I helped Miss Paddywhack out all the time planning to kill him and his men and take over for myself. Then why did you tip off Professor Newton? And me? And stop! I figured Newton wouldn't really be able to stop the assembly, but he'd try. Then, when you got your story in the paper about him stopping it, everyone would be sure to come to find out what was going on. As for stuff, I figured you guys were dangerous, so I'd better get you on my side so you wouldn't know what the hell was going on. I killed McFaddywack and his men. Newton, too. Since he showed up at the wrong time and moved the film projector to the balcony and the gas tanks under the stage, so you wouldn't find them. It almost worked. If it wasn't for that girl. But why? Why did you do all this? I found a perfect chance to bring a little order and discipline to this school. Finally, we could have a little peace and quiet on the weekend. No more cars parked in the wrong lot or complaints about noisy parties or even late library books. That's all I did it for. It was everybody's benefit. Plus, you know, the thought of having 2,000 odd slaves is pretty tempting. Kitty, you saved us all! Oh, Lance! Ow! Oh, Leslie, you were so brave while all this was happening. I know. I guess we didn't need your explosives after all, Chris. Uh-oh. A problem arises. A quandary. An error. Fatal error? Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, what's the matter? When the gas tanks weren't in the basement, I figured we might not be able to stop Nick Paddywhack's plans, and everyone would be taken over. So I thought it would be better to keep everyone from leaving the building than to have the slaves invade the country. Chris, what did you do? I blended my bombs in the basement. Except for... Oh... Any minute now. Maybe we should make some kind of announcement. I'll do it. Excuse me. Hello. Can everybody be quiet a sec? Just so you know, the evil plan to brainwash us all has been foiled by Kitty Boone. So let's all give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems there's still a small matter of a large explosive device in the basement set to go off any second. So if everyone could form an orderly line, we'll so much for that. Everyone! Outside the Institute. All right. I think we're far enough away. No, better safe than sorry. Keep running. No way. I want to see my bomb go off. I worked hard on it. Where's Sergeant Petunia? No, we've got her. Let me go. Ow! Where are you going? Sergeant Petunia, come back. The building is going to explode. The gas is in there. I have to get the gas. I can't take over the school without it. Come back. A safe school. An early school. in the crowd. Maxie, have I got a story for you? Oh, Lance, so many people are dead. All those people Machete Melvin killed, Sergeant Petunia, President McPaddywhack, that doctor, that thug, Professor Newton, and nobody's seen Esteban for weeks. Yeah, this school is great. Shut up, Laszlo. Look, look, come on, Kitty, it's all over now. I'm going to miss everybody, too, especially Professor Newton. Don't, uh, don't write me out quite yet, Lance, my boy. Professor Newton, you're alive! It, it takes more than a, a bullet to the chest and a, another bullet to the stomach to take uh, Wayne Newton out of the picture. Uh, when when I heard everyone screaming, I just uh, threw my large intestine over my shoulder and came to see what all the commotion was about. Uh, just admit getting caught in that explosion. Uh, come on, Professor. I'd better get you to the hospital. Uh, very kind of you, Lance. Right. <coughs> well, uh, sorry about the, the blood. You dropped your spleen, Professor. Is, is that what that is? Well, pack it nicer, uh, something, and maybe they can stitch it back in. Laszlo, I don't want to upset you, but I think I have to leave stuff. Leave stuff? Barbie, why? Well, this was fun and all that, and if you ever really need me, you can give me a call. But terrorism really isn't my thing. I guess I understand. Not everybody feels as strong a sense of outrage at man's inhumanity of man as I do. Can we still see each other? A fine sea. A fire blazing in the night. A pyre marking the remains of those who would do evil unto others. Come on, Terry. I'll walk you back to Chastity Court. Home. A simple word. The images of warmth and love spring from the sight of the hearth and the home fires. Yeah, right. The sight of the flames erupting from the once hallowed halls of learning brings forth in me a thought of bitter irony. Have you any marshmallows, Chris? That sounds like a great idea. Isn't anybody going to walk me home? Fine, fine. Never let it be said that Poopsie Mittens needs a man's protection. Hey, Poopsie. Who are you? It's me, Jock Mulligan, Lance's roommate. We met at Kitty and Barbie's party a few weeks ago. Uh, that's better. Oh, yes. The Neanderthal, I remember. So, 
You doing anything? Oh, just shut up and walk me home. Right. I didn't say you could put your arm around me. Sorry. And so ends the threats of President McPaddywhack and of Sore Throat. But, lest you forget, Rock Bottom sophomore Estefan Rodriguez and his newly found sister Louisa are still trapped on the small Central American island nation of Pequeño, doomed to die a grisly death, or two grisly deaths, I suppose, one each, should their plan of escape be discovered. Tune in for their story and much more next time on Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom featured Brian Olson as the narrator and Terry Maryberries. Julie Post as Sergeant Petunia, Kitty's mother, and Roxy Biloxi. Amy Strack as Bobby Latrolop and Lucy Mittens. Tara Kennedy as Kitty Boone. Eric Olson as Lance Von Chauvin. Rob Swift as Larry Lazaro and Kitty's father. Mike Fulham as Chris Nitro and Freddie Kent. Jesse Rogers as Sore Throat and Jock Mulligan. Stan Broderick as Professor Wayne Newton. Rock Bottom was produced by Rob Swift and written and directed by Brian Olson. Rock Bottom has been brought to you by The Tomatoes.